Uh, the last couple slides then just have to do with um, where I come from. I work in the uh, with the Post Harvest uh, Technology Center at UC Davis, and there, in this presentation, um, we made a lot of uh, comments about different products. And if you're interested in more information about the different products, there is a, a very good website that our group uh, hosts and, and continues to add to. And there is a section called Produce Facts. There are 140 different fruits, vegetables, and flowers in which there's the information that's listed there. So you can find a lot of the information, um, some of the details that I was talking about in those Produce Facts sheets. They're available in different languages. They're in English, but they're also in Spanish, French, and Arabic. So uh, take a look at those. And then uh, in some cases we have uh, useful photos that also can help you understand uh, some of the changes and some of the things that are being talked about in those produce facts. I know you can't read this, but I included it in the presentation because this briefly in one chart summarizes them. Uh, just some key aspects of quality, uh, recommended temperatures, approximate shelf life, uh, sensitivity to ethylene, and other observations for some of the vegetables, and also for some of the fruits, okay, that might be useful to you. And this is the last slide, just I'm a member of, of one of a group here, and each of us has an expertise in a particular area. My expertise is in vegetables, and so for that reason, I focus on vegetables today. But check out our website, and I'm sure you will find a lot of useful information there to help you uh, um, manage your, your produce at the store level and understand the causes of deterioration and minimize uh, post-harvest losses. So thank you very much for your attention.